Hi, welcome to today's tasting note. Um, I'm at Loch Ness, a few days away uh, with my family and we thought we'd come hunting Nessie. So far, we are not successful. Um, but whilst I'm away, we still do, still do wine tasting videos. And this is what I brought with me, the Liberator Shannon Number no. 5, um, 2019. Sorry about the cars going past. Um, 2019 vintage. Um, uh, basically, the Liberator, you've seen videos in the past that we've done. The Liberator is a, um, a project by Richard Kelly. Um, he's a master of wine. He imports wine and he goes off to South Africa, finds a bunch of um, interesting wines from various producers and then uh, bottles them or cans them um, in a uh, in, in uh, under the, the brand, uh, the Liberator, he sort of liberates these parcels of wine. Uh, this is the first canned wine I think he's done, um, uh, Chenin Blanc, um, and uh, there's 7,680 cans of this made. Um, the reason I thought I'd bring this with me is because it's light, it's easy, and it's the sort of thing you can take camping, you can take to um, to any any uh, sort of festival you're going to, you're not taking glass with you, and it's, it's a perfect little receptacle to, to go uh, out and about with. Um, obviously, the nose on it, it's incredibly difficult to actually get anything off it. You, you do get a very slight hint of wood from it. This is, this is not a, this is not a, um, a sort of just thrown into a can cheap wine sort of thing. Um, but um, you get a bit of oak off it. Um, I've tried it out of the glass, pouring it into a glass and, and sure you're getting a much more complex aroma from it. But we're gonna we're gonna rate it based on based on the can experience. Um, but let's see what it tastes like. So the oak is there. You're getting a really lovely sort of almost bright um, pineapple skin, a bit of melon, a bit of um, almost a, a, a sort of a lemon pith thing going on. It's a bit of grapefruit coming through, but then you get this lemon curd note coming through. Uh, that's the sort of citrus and the, and the, um, and the, uh, the sort of um, uh, the, the, the oaky element min mingling together. And you actually get this really nice, nice, um, this really nice uh, uh, sort of lemon curdy note to it. There's also a there's also a, a, a sort of cashew nut walnutty thing going on. Um, really good acidity throughout. Um, just a really pleasant, nice, easy um, style of wine. The sort of thing that you know is going to hold up to sort of campfire food things like that. Um, you know, overcooked burnt chicken on a grill, that sort of stuff. Um, it's it's cracking. I like it. Uh, I can't remember what the price is, and I don't have my laptop to hand to check it, but we'll put the price down below. Um, but this is really good. Jancis uh, rates this, if I remember rightly. I think she said it was probably one of the best. I think it was. I think she said it was the best canned wine she'd tried in a long time, or something like that. But um, we'll put that quote beneath as well. Anyway, so if it's good enough for Jancis, it's good enough for me. And uh, if we find Nessie. It'll be good enough for a Nessie hunting too. Have a lovely day. I'm going to finish my holiday. Toodaloo. Bye.